What's going on guys, Brandon J. Today we are in a very interesting location. I'm with the crew today. Today is a totally different vibe. Right now we are standing on the bridge where basically the police have led us to that a gun was thrown off of this bridge into the water. So today we are looking for a gun that was thrown off this bridge. Now here's the thing. This gun is involved in an active case that we can't disclose any information about. Matter of fact, we haven't really received any information about it because they can't disclose it as well. We currently have have some of the police department and some of the Columbus detectives down here who have basically called us and asked us to help. So first of all, this is Detective Kelly with the Columbus Police Department. Mm -hmm. And uh, she actually reached out and uh, contacted us as a group to kind of help out with today. So you want to tell us a little bit about how that like came Absolutely. into play? Um, I happened to be in our property and evidence one day mm -hmm. and saw this gun that was completely crested over <laughs> and said, what is that? And one of the other detectives said, hey, there's these guys they dive in the water around Columbus and they found this. They called us. So I went online and mm. found the video <laughs> and went, hey, I know the officer. Let me contact him and find out uh, who these guys are so yeah, I can get in touch sure. with you. And got your name and phone number from him and gave so you a So it was the gun that we found a few weeks ago in okay. that like urban canal That's and you fun. actually saw the gun. I saw the gun. And then you found us because we were connected because to the gun. That, yes. So this is a really big opportunity for us. Jake and I have actually found a weapon before where we returned it to the police and it's kind of like come full circle. So we've done those good deeds. The police department has seen that, the detectives have seen that and they thought of us to uh, help them with this situation. So that's super, super cool of them. So we're working with a gun potentially being here, a witness allegedly saw this, and then that's why we're here to try to recover that item. Correct. And, and that's gonna play a key part in this case. It will indeed. Okay, very cool, very cool. Well, we've got uh, we've got three people, we've got an area that uh, we're gonna be searching. So we're gonna cover a lot of water and hopefully we can find it. It's gonna be really cool, but thank you so much. Thank Seriously. you. Thank you for calling us. <laughs> So behind me here is the bridge that the gun was thrown off of. So I'm actually gonna do a little bit of testing myself, probably throw a few rocks just to see how far uh, a gun or something of that weight could be. And we're gonna search this whole area. Now I didn't mention this earlier, but you're not gonna see too much of the police department or the Columbus detectives in this video, just because they asked to remain off of camera for the most part, uh, because they are tied into this whole case. So I'm gonna respect their wishes with that. However, if I do see it fit, I uh, maybe will bring some audio and have everybody blurred so everybody is protected. So today, all three of us are gonna be rigged up with our super small scuba tanks. Basically, we're gonna use any advantage we can get today. We're up against the odds. We're looking for one item in a vast area. We've got dirty water. We also have some current. And uh, using air while we're down there is gonna allow us to actively search and spend as much time under the water as possible. All right, so we're down here at water level. We're about to go in. We've also been told that this gun has been gone for about six months now. So we're not really sure exactly what we're gonna find. It could be sitting on top of the sand, could be really, really easy to find. It could be covered in slime, covered in all types of dirt. It could be buried under a rock. So there's a bunch of different stuff that we could potentially be looking for. About six months time, it could be completely rusted or it could be completely fine. We're not really sure, but we're gonna go ahead and get out in that water. We're gonna see if we can find it. All right, so when we threw the rocks out, they all landed out here. And from the island out this way, from the opening, we should check that. But when I talked to the detectives, they said the guy could have easily just chucked it, yep. like loosely, because he was running. Yeah. So the he's running is, though, and, huh? If he did chunk it out here, we gotta worry about current too. So yeah. it might be. Yep, so just look, uh, well, I'll just kind of go separate ways, cover some ground, but try to obviously not stir up the bottom as much as possible because we're gonna be swimming in the same little area yeah. for a while, but. All right, boys, oh, well, oh, oh, no, no, everybody, everybody gets up. Well, no, Jake, you go out and you hit, no. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. That's not what we're looking for. That's definitely not a gun, right? I don't think so. I'll hold on to it. Uh, no, got 
got some rusty stuff. I don't know. So after swimming for a little bit, one of the detectives uh, was taking a closer look at something I found I kind of threw ashore. And uh, he told me to come up here and take a look at it. So I'm thinking, I was like, oh man, like Jake, did I find what, what they were looking for? Because uh, earlier I found this like weird uh, metal object thing. I don't know, it was very strange, but it looked like it had some type of barrel system and, and it's got some, it's spring, it's, it was weird. So anyway, he, uh, brought me over and he was like hey man this is uh, actually a bb gun so i was like oh no way <laughs> so it's got the barrel and the spring and uh so like all the wood that normally would go around it's completely gone but he was like you found a bb gun so it's like i found the gun it wasn't the right gun but i found a gun so <laughs> it was kind of the joke as we were swimming around uh jake actually found what'd you find a staple gun a staple gun i found a bb gun and tristan has yet to find a gun so <laughs> no one no one tristan he's gonna go and find the real gun so Anyway, it was just kind of cool, so I just wanted to uh, point that out, but what are the odds, you know? Mm -hmm. The detective unit tells us to come out here, we're in search for a gun, and uh, find a BB gun. I mean, uh, just wanted to share that with you guys, I'm going to get back in the water, continue to search. Dang it. Thought I had it, boys. Side of a shoe. Gosh. Side of a freaking shoe. You gotta be kidding me. Look down, could have swore that was it. Freaking shoe. So Tristan and I have made it to this second area we're gonna check out. Uh, it's basically like this platform. Uh, it's like a dock in a sense. And uh, we figured we've searched the bridge really, really well. This is going to be another good area that's a key spot to search. And uh, I'm going to jump out here. I've got a little bit of air left in this tank. So pretty much going to use this whole tank searching this water. It's going to be a little bit deeper here, but it looks like the clarity is a little bit better. We've all been swimming in the same spot over there, so we got really dirty quick. So we have a detective with Tristan and I here. Jake is still back at the main bridge. He has a few of the detectives over there as well. So I'm going to hop in the water with a tank and... Uh, See if I can search this area a little bit. Hopefully I can get lucky and come across this gun. It's been eluding us so far. It doesn't help that this water's freezing. It does not help that the water is cold, for sure. Like you can already tell, like this is how this is how most of the day is gone. Like a little bit of movement in the water and all this silt and all this mud it's comes done. up. It's done. It's game done. over. So you gotta look fast and try to be as calm as possible. Alright, he's gone in. The water clarity doesn't really look that bad though, that's the thing. It's just when you get on the bottom.
All right, bro, other than getting cold, what else did you find? So, really interesting. The bottom was a lot like harder there, so I thought I was gonna be able to find it a lot easier because it's not gonna go in the silt kind of like the other bridge. So it's definitely gonna be sitting uh, if it was there. I didn't run into it. <laughs> I've run into a bunch of lures and stuff all day. I got some crazy chatterbait that I thought was funny and then there's like this buzz bait with a like lizard on it, which is like the most ridiculous bait ever. I did think I found the gun at one point though. Uh, I saw this, there was like a big rock slab and it was tucked up under there and I was like, oh, oh my man. gosh, you know, like I saw the handle and, and this and I was like, oh, that's it. I, I grab it and it's just this stick. So oh, man. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. But it's really cool for the Columbus Police Department and the detective unit to reach out. So obviously, you know, we love doing this type of stuff, but again, we want to help them help others. So it'd be really cool to find this key item, but we're trying our best, man. We're going to continue to search. All right, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a big old thumbs up. Unfortunately, we didn't find the actual weapon we were looking for today. However, Detective Kelly did tell me she was trying to get in contact with the actual guy who threw it in, his attorney. So she said she's going to keep in contact with us. Hopefully, we can narrow down the search and kind of get a little bit smaller or more accurate spot of where the gun actually is instead of just going off of what a witness said. So they said they threw it off the bridge, but I mean, we've combed this area so good. So it could not be here and we just searched really well. And of course we're not gonna find it cause it's not here or it could be here and we just kind of overlooked it. So, so either way, the detective unit is gonna reach back out to us and we're gonna be doing something like this again here soon. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn those post notifications on so you will be notified every time we post. And really quick though, I just wanna thank the Columbus Police Department and the detective detective unit for thinking of us and actually calling us and inviting us out here to do this search in the first place. It's really cool. We started off finding iPhones and GoPros and stuff like that in the river and returning it to the owners and then we came across a few guns, returned those to the police and now it has come full circle to where we are searching for a key piece of evidence with the police department and the detective unit. Like that is super cool. I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys for watching. It was so cool being able to come out here and do this. So I will catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out. That's awkward.